Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demos Eras. In this demo, we'll show how to use a big IP advanced web, bot defense profile, to protect web applications from suspicious web browsers. Before watching this demo, we recommend you watch Big IP Advanced Web Demo 36, which covers creating a Big IP Advanced Web bot defense profile. This is Demo 37 of the AWF Demo Series, and it's intended for advanced level Big IP Advanced Web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit requests to the web application, using incorrect user agent strings. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back-end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can present suspicious web browsers with a capture challenge, allowing only successful CATCHA responses to be sent to the backend web servers. Web browsers, or scripts, that are unable to answer the CATCHA challenge, can be blocked from going to the web servers. First, we'll use the curl command to attack the web application. Curl is a command line tool for getting, or sending files, using URL syntax. The 1 through 40 code runs the curl command 40 times. The curl command result is the HTML web code for the DVWA login page. Let's view the big IP advanced web event log. We'll select one of the new log entries. And then in the request section, we'll examine the user agent header. The requests came from the user agent named curl, which is malicious in nature. We'll now use a second curl command. This command contains the A switch, which enables a malicious user to disguise the user agent string. Let's refresh the event log. And once again, we'll examine the user agent header of one of the new log entries. The new requests appear to have come from a browser named Fire Explorer. Next, we'll use Chrome to access the DVWA login page. We'll then use the Chrome UA spoofer. This tool enables us to spoof and mimic different user agent strings. First, we'll spoof the Mac Safari web browser. Next, we'll spoof the Internet Explorer version 6 web browser. And finally, we'll spoof an Android browser. We'll then reset the tool back to Chrome. Default. Once again, we'll refresh the event log. And then, we'll use the filter option to only display log entries for the login.php URL. Let's select the first log entry and then examine the user agent header. This request appears to have come from a Chrome web browser. This request appears to have come from an Android device. The next request from IE version 6. And the next from a Mac running Safari. Now, let's protect the web application from these suspicious web browsers. First, let's look at the virtual server we were just accessing. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security policies page, you can see that we already have a big IP advanced WEF 
bot defense profile attached to this virtual server. We just need to configure it to identify and mitigate these suspicious browsers. We'll open the bot defense, bot defense profiles page and then open the existing profile. We'll change the enforcement mode to blocking. On the bot mitigation settings page, notice that we currently have all bot mitigations set to CATCHA. On the browsers page, we'll change the grace period to 2 seconds. We're lowering this value for the purposes of this demo. However, in a production environment, 300 seconds would be an appropriate amount of time for a legitimate browser to reply to the JavaScript challenge. We'll now save the profile. Let's open Internet Explorer. And then open the DVWA login page. Let's examine the big IP advanced WEF, bot defense, bot requests log. This log displays all big IP advanced WEF, bot defense data. This log entry was generated when the web browser was initially challenged. When we select the login.php log entry and select all details, we can see that this request was accepted because the browser passed the JavaScript challenge. We'll now open Chrome again and use the Chrome UA spoofer tool to select Mac Safari. And then open the DVWA login page. We are now presented with a capture challenge. We'll then enter the correct capture challenge. Let's now refresh the bot requests log. We can view the capture status, which in this case was the correct answer. This is why the request was alarmed, but accepted. We can also see that Big IP Advanced UF identified this from the malicious part class, presenting itself as Safari. We'll once again open Chrome and use the Chrome UA spoofer tool to select the Android browser and then open the DVWA login page. This time we'll enter an incorrect capture answer. After refreshing the bot requests log, we can see that this last request was challenged. However, the incorrect capture challenge was entered. Next, let's resubmit the curl command. You can see that the 40 curl commands all fail because they cannot pass the capture challenge. Notice that all the new log entries are challenged, but none of these requests pass the capture challenge. Big IP Advanced WEF identified these as a curl bot from the untrusted bot class. Let's now resubmit the second curl command with the A switch. Big IP Advanced WEF identified these as a fired bot from the unknown bot class. We've decided to require title mitigation for both malicious and unknown bots. We'll select the bot defense profile and open the bot mitigation settings. For unknown bot, we'll change the mitigation to block. And for malicious bot, we'll change the mitigation to TCP reset.
let's once again resubmit the curl command that uses the A switch. Notice that these curl commands are now being blocked by big IP advanced WEF. We'll open Chrome again. Remember that the Chrome UA spoofer tool is set to the Android browser. We'll now open the DVWA login page. We no longer receive a capture challenge, but instead we receive a TCP reset. With the newest log entry selected, we can see that this request was denied, and the mitigation was a TCP reset, due to being recognized as a malicious spot. When we select a login.php log entry, which was submit from the curl command, we can see that this request was denied, and the mitigation was a block, due to being recognized as an unknown bot. Let's now open Chrome again, but this time we'll use the Chrome UA spoofer tool to reset back to Chrome default and then open the DVWA login page. We still receive a capture challenge. This is because we have the Chrome UA spoofer extension installed in our web browser, which Big IP Advanced WEF was able to identify. Let's now open Firefox and open the DVWA login page. Because this request is not coming from a suspicious web browser, we're not blocked, given a TCP reset, or presented with a capture challenge. The request we sent from Chrome was classified in the suspicious browser bot class due to the UA spoofer extension. In the final part of this demo, we'll examine the bot defense, bot traffic report. This report displays several bot traffic statistics for the entire Big IP Advanced WEF system. If the Big IP system has several virtual servers, we can view bot statistics by virtual server by selecting a specific virtual server in the left panel. In the bot categories section, the total number of requests for the past hour are divided into accepted requests and denied requests. Notice we can also see the number of successful capture challenges and failed capture challenges. And finally, at the bottom of the page, we can click View Detected Bots, which displays all bots that have been detected in the past hour by the Big IP Advanced WEF Bot Defense, with details about each bot. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using an F5 Big IP Advanced WEF Bot Defense profile to protect web applications from suspicious web browsers. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.